So what are homogeneous coordinates? Homogeneous coordinates are a coordinate system for projective spaces and they allow us to express things very elegantly if we work for example with cameras and want to describe how a point from the 3D world is mapped onto my 2D image. Um, they basically have two key advantages. Um, the first one is that they can express a variety of transformations as a matrix so that I then can execute this transformation by simply performing a matrix vector multiplication. The second advantage is that uh, in homogeneous coordinates I can express points which are infinitely far away with finite coordinates and again that's something that is useful if you work with cameras. Those two properties make a lot of mathematical derivations much simpler and easier um, in homogeneous coordinates compared to my Cartesian coordinates. And this is the reason why they are an attractive tool that is especially used for disciplines that work with cameras such as computer vision or photogrammetry. So let's look into a small example. Let's say we have the point 2,4 in our Euclidean world and we want to go into homogeneous coordinates. What we need to do is we need to add an additional dimension. So we add a third dimension here and fill this dimension with one. And this puts this point from the Euclidean world into homogeneous coordinates. And this additional dimension allows us to do those nice things. If we want to map back from um, the homogeneous coordinates into the Euclidean world, we have to get rid of this additional dimension. So what we need to do, you want to get reduce the third dimension and go back to two dimensions in this example. Um, and before we can do this, we actually need to divide all the components of the vector in homogeneous coordinates by the last component so that the last component becomes one again. And if the last component is one, I can just ignore this additional um, dimension. And then I'm back in my Euclidean world. With this additional dimension, we can now express a certain type of transformations in an elegant way through a simple matrix. So let's start with the example of a translation with this very simple matrix. If we multiply uh, this matrix with the vector, the vector gets translated by this translation vector t, lowercase t, in this matrix. And so by multiplying a vector with this matrix, this vector gets translated by t. And that's something that I can not do in my Euclidean world. Um, I cannot only do this with translations, I can also do this with a large number of other transformations such as rotations, similarity transforms, rigid body transformations, affine transformations or projective transformations. And this allows me to write them all down in, in matrix form and then I can simply chain those transformations in an elegant way by just performing matrix multiplications. So by multiplying all those matrices together, I get a resulting transformation that resembles this chain of transformations. And this is very, very nice because it allows me to compress a large number of chain transformations into a single matrix. And then I just need to execute um, the matrix vector multiplication in order to transform a point. Um, so if we have points in our in homogeneous coordinates, um, they have a special property, the so-called homogeneous property. And that means every object in homogeneous coordinates is only defined up to um, a scalar. So I can multiply um, every object in homogeneous coordinates with a number which is unequal to zero and it still represents the same object. So the vector 2, 4, 1 is identical to the vector 4, 8, 2, for example. The second nice property that I was referring to was representing points which are infinitively far away. So by setting the last coordinate to zero, I can express points which are infinitely far away with finite coordinates. So you can see this if you need to divide by the last component. If you want to go back to the Euclidean world, you can see that you would divide by zero and then the points would be infinitely far away. But the attractive thing in homogeneous coordinates is that we still maintain the direction to the point. So even if the point is infinitely far away, we can still estimate the direction to that point. And this is very relevant if you work with cameras where you have points which are far away, potentially infinitely far away, or which are at the horizon, which in geometric estimation processes 
often allows you to estimate the orientation of your camera actually quite well, but which cannot be handled um, very well if I'm in my um, Euclidean world. And therefore, going to these projective spaces is very attractive when working with cameras.